Unearthing the past, delving into the most controversial archaeological revelations of our time. From enigmatic artifacts rewriting history to long-buried secrets challenging established narratives, join us on a journey through the tumultuous terrain of recent archaeological discoveries that have ignited debates, shattered conventions, and unveiled astonishing insights into our shared human heritage. On number 10, we have an ancient Viking hall in Denmark. In Denmark, archaeologists have uncovered a large building that dates to the late Viking period. The structure, which measures 40 meters by 810 meters, is substantially bigger than typical dwellings from the era and is thought to have housed some kind of political or community events due to its size. The building, which at the time functioned as an important place for local gatherings, is supported by many oak pillars. On number 9, we have dismembered hands dating back to 1500 BCE. Twelve pairs of severed hands have recently been discovered by archaeologists in northern Egypt. The finds, which were found at the Tel el Daba site, are thought to date back to 1500 BCE and demonstrate the presence of the Gold of Honor rite, in which ancient Egyptian soldiers would gift the pharaoh with the severed hands of competitors they had defeated. They would get priceless items such as gold necklaces and pendants in return. The ceremonial amputation of enemy hands was intended to chastise them by disfiguring their spirits in addition to honoring the pharaoh. The fact that the find was made in little holes near the main palace lends credence to this notion. On number 8 we have a 2,300-year-old Buddhist temple found in Pakistan that could be one of the earliest in history. One of the most amazing and recent archaeological discoveries is what could be one of the oldest Buddhist temple ruins ever discovered. Archaeologists think the temple goes back to the 2nd century BC. It is situated in Barakat, Swat Valley, the ancient Gandharan area where Hindu-Greek civilization thrived following Alexander the Great's invasion. This would date the building's construction to a few centuries after the passing of Siddhartha Gautama, who founded Buddhism and lived during the 5th and 4th centuries BC. According to what has been discovered thus far, the temple was a large, intricate construction with three meter tall structures, living quarters for the monks, and a stupa that is characteristic of Buddhist temples. Statues, coins, ceramics, and other items have also been uncovered at the excavation site. On number 7, we have Ernest Shackleton's legendary endurance shipwreck that is found in Antarctica. Sir Ernest Shackleton and his crew of 27 men embarked on a trans-Arctic expedition in 1912 aboard the ship Endurance in an attempt to become the first person to walk across the Antarctic continent. Shackleton and his crew were forced to go on a year-long trek back to civilization after the ship became trapped in an iceberg-filled sea and sank in 1915. Amazingly, the whole party survived through ice cap camping and boating across the treacherous Antarctic waters. For more than a century, people have been captivated by the tale of Sir Ernest Shackleton's expedition to the Antarctic. It entered a new chapter in 2022, when the Arctic research team discovered the Endurance shipwreck at the bottom of the Weddell Sea. This groundbreaking and breathtaking discovery will become a monument protected by the Antarctic Treaty. On number 6, we have a new lost Roman city in the Spanish Pyrenees. Around the globe, lost towns are constantly being found. A new ancient Roman city has been found in the Spanish Pyrenees, according to one of the most recent reports of fresh archaeological finds. El Foro de la Tuda is the name given at the moment to the old Roman city that no one even knows the name of. It is thought to have been created during the 1st and 2nd century aid at the height of the Roman Empire. San Jose's Spanish treasure galleon is on position 5. Many people refer to San Jose as the origin of all shipwrecks. She was a three-masted galleon with 64 guns that was put into service in 1698. She was loaded with gold, silver, and emeralds when she drowned in a fight in 1708 close to what is now Colombia. The San Jose was founded in 2015, but the recovery of her many riches has been hampered by unending legal challenges. Her reward is estimated to be worth billions of dollars, maybe up to $17 billion. There are numerous ships devoted to discovering and salvaging ships like the San Jose because wreck searching and recovering long-lost valuables are big business. 
An ancient temple dedicated to Zeus in Egypt is found on position 4. Although the worship of Zeus began in Greece, it eventually spread to other regions of the globe, including Egypt. A newly found temple near Tel Al Farma, on the northwestern Sinai Peninsula, was built in honor of Zeus and Cassios, a deity of the weather associated with Mount Cassios. This area was once referred to as the City of Pelusium, and it played a significant role in both Greco-Roman and Byzantine civilizations. The 1800-year-old Gladiator Arena in Turkey is listed at number 3. In a Turkish area called the Ancient City of Mastuara, an arena said to have been used by armed Roman professional warriors has been discovered. Established 1800 years ago, the amphitheater is said to have fulfilled the same function as the Colosseum by staging significant gladiator and wild animal bouts. The visible portions of this amphitheater are mostly undamaged, despite the fact that many of its components are buried under the soil. On number two, we have a Dead Sea Scroll in the Cave of Horror. The bodies of 40 Jewish men, women, and children were discovered in the Cave of Horror in Israel for the first time in the 1960s. There was no more information reported until March 2021, about 60 years later, when shards of a Dead Sea Scroll were found in the same Cave of Terror. Perhaps the find was too scary for the excavators. Few words, including the name of God, are written on the scroll in Hebrew. The majority of the texts are in Greek characters. The scroll's texts are allegedly fragments of the biblical books Zechariah and Nahum. Along with the scrolls, two other recent archaeological finds in the cave were a mummified youngster, thought to be in middle childhood, who was 6,000 years old, and an ancient basket that was discovered in a neighboring cave. A hint of women's power in ancient Spain is at number one. Contrary to popular belief, women may have been influential members of society who held positions of authority in the ancient world, just like males. That was discovered during the 2014 excavation of a grave in Spain. A woman's bones and some silver jewelry were found in the burial that was discovered in La Alaloya, a tomb site in Spain. The fact that a male was buried next to the lady that had no opulent things is an interesting component of this discovery. The lady was carrying a silver diadem, which was still on her head, a necklace, and two bracelets. The object that was on the woman's head must have been a sign of authority, experts say. This leads to the inference that she must have been a monarch or a significant role in the thriving El Argor society that existed in the area between 2200 and 1550 BC. Subscribe for more thought-provoking content and stay tuned as we continue to unravel the mysteries that shape our understanding of history. Don't forget to like, comment, and share to keep the conversation going. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey through the depths of time.